let's make some houses, okay? You guys get to be architects, and I get to be an architect along with you, and we're going to make houses. And if Miss Heidi would show my hands on my desk, Absolutely. I'm going to show you some of my papers, okay? But we're going to be using our papers to make this. Ta-da! We're going to make this little English cottage here. Ready? Go find your supplies. If you don't have them in front of you, please go get them now. So these are really very, very simple shapes that we're going to be working with. I don't care if it's paper you made or paper you found. I want you to pull out the papers that you want to work with today, okay? And just pick the papers that make you feel good. I'm going to share with you all how to make this house, okay? And so you should have out now your scissors, your pieces of paper that you're going to use, and your glue stick. That's what you should have, okay? This um, brown paper that I'm going to use to put on. And if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can make it a little bit smaller and fold your paper in half and only do half a sheet. I need to save my art supplies, so you need to save yours too. So I'm going to just kind of half this piece of paper in half like this. And then I'm just going to... Um, Tear it. Now you can cut yours if you can't tear really good. But whatever kind of paper you want to use. If it's white paper, you can use white paper. If it's um, brown paper, blue paper, whatever paper you have. Now, what I want you to do is, because I'm going to be working a little bit smaller, as this one is bigger, see? This is bigger. And this is a smaller sheet. So I'm going to do a smaller house. Okay? So I'm going to start with the roof of my house. And this is going to be my roof. So here's my paper for my house, and here's my paper for my roof. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this because I need to kind of put these two together. Okay, so I'm gonna put enough glue on there to kind of hold on my roof, and so it's gonna be like this. So that's what your, that's what your paper should look like, if, you know. Gonna glue that down like that, see? Alrighty, and now, after I've glued that down really good, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to cut a rectangle for my house. Like this, see? Look at that, okay? And then, if I wanted to make a more triangle roof, I could cut in like that and then cut across. And so there's my house. That's that simple. And remember, Miss Vanessa doesn't throw away anything. So those two pieces of paper that I cut, I'm just going to put them back over in my pile for later. Okay. And I'm going to do something real strange. I'm going to cut a little triangle on the side like that. What? Right? It looks like it doesn't make any kind of sense, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chimney on. Okay. So there's my chimney. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more glue on the back of my roof. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and just glue it down on top of that, like so. So it should be like that. <laughs> and so now I'm gonna cut off that part that sticks out. So all I have is a nice little chimney. Ta-da! There you go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I want to put some bricks. Remember, this one had bricks. 
It had a brick chimney, and then it had a brick roof. And so either you can do a brick roof or you can do a shingled roof. And so I, I want to do another brick um, uh, chimney. So I'm going to start with that. And I want you to watch me because it's very, very simple to do. So you can turn your house this way. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to, now, I, I don't know if you're left-handed or right-handed. So if you're left-handed, you can turn the other way. But I want you to make some lines on your chimney. Okay, and there, there are my lines on my chimney. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is, on that first line here, on this first line, you're going to make one line going up, like so. See that? Okay, and then on the next one, in between here, you're going to do two lines. One, two. Okay, so you're going to go back and you're going to do that again. You're going to make one line down the middle, and then one, two, and then another one. And there you have your chimney. Okay, now remember the roof here I told you about. On the roof, you could actually do that same brick pattern like that on the roof if you wanted to, or you could do shingles. And I think I want to do shingles this time. So shingles are like scallops. Scallops are, are round. You kind of go like um, that. I'm, I'm going to show you on the back of my paper here. So a scallop roof would kind of go like this. A bunch of you. You. Just a you. bunch of you. You. And then you. 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 And or W. Yep, or W. Exactly. And to stagger means that you don't put them right up under each other. You look for an opening. See, so see that? See how I did that? Mm -hmm. The very bottom of it. That's where you started. Yeah, at the very bottom of it. So I'm going to do the same thing on this on, on my red roof here. So I'm going to start with a U and another U. Another U and another U. Okay? And then I'm going to start on the edge there and put another U, another one, and another one, and another one. And I'm going to keep going until I have them all shingled on the, on the roof. We're going to move on to gluing down our house on our paper. So now Miss Vanessa has a white sheet of paper so that she doesn't get glue all over her nice brown paper. Okay, and so I'm gonna glue this down now onto my paper here. And I'm feeling rather good about how it's looking right now. Feeling really good. So, so I'm going to start with my little floor in front. Oh, and look, I have another side too. Look at that. This is two sided paper. I have this side too. I like that side even better. Yeah. I'm just going to shorten it just a little bit more. There you go, so it fits on the page. And you know what? You could use this to give to somebody for a housewarming gift. It, it would be nice if you just say happy, you know, God bless your home or happy living in your new home. Congratulations on your new home. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yep, welcome to the neighborhood. That would be awesome. I would like that one. 
me feel good if I moved in China. Yes, absolutely. So here we are now with our house, the roof to our house, our chimney, and our little walkway here. I can use this, the same thing I use for the chimney to make a little brick wall. And I think that'd probably be better. Maybe that would be better. Yeah, that would look great. Yeah. So I think I think we're, we're gonna go with that. And I'm just gonna cut a little piece. And just trim it up a little bit. And just measure it to see how nice it, it looks nice. It looks nice. But you know what I wanna do? I wanna put down the grass before I put down the brick wall. Okay? So here is my grass. Now I'm just gonna clean it up just a little bit. So here's my grass. And I'm just gonna put some grass on the side there. So I'm gonna put that there like that. Okay? And I'm gonna use that little white piece of paper that I had to glue from. I'm just gonna put some nice glue on the back of there. And then I'm gonna glue it down. There we go. So again, we have our, our body for the house. We have our roof. We have our chimney. And if you don't have the papers to do this, all you gotta do is just draw it in. Just draw it. Okay. So here's here's my little green part here. And so now I'm gonna put in my little brick wall. I just feel so much like I'm building. So there's my little brick wall. Ta-da! Okay. And so now, I think I'm gonna just add some more lines like I did on the brick chimney. I wanna add some lines on the brick wall. So there's my brick wall, and I'm gonna hold this up so you can see. All right, and so now we're gonna put in our windows and our doors, okay? And you know what? If some of you wanna put a tree in the background of your house, you can put a tree back there if you want to. You want me to show you how to do a tree? Ooh, that's a tree. Yeah. That's so here's a piece of that same paper that I have, right? And remember I told you that sometimes you can draw on things. So here's, and so I'm just gonna put some lines in here. That's all. And they're, they're, they're just random lines. They don't have to make any kind of sense. They're just random lines. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut out the shape of a tree. And so watch me. I can make the bottom real small and thin. Okay, so that's what I have right now. And then I'm gonna do a Y. Do a branch over here. And I come back down and I'm cutting out a Y. That's what I'm doing. And I do one in the middle. And then I do one more on the side. Okay, and so there's my little tree. Mm -hmm. Turn it around the other way, so you can see. Here's my little tree, happy little tree. Okay, and so then I take that and I put a piece of paper that I want to make a tree out of behind it. But this mm -hmm. is the beauty of this: is that it doesn't like I said, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna just gonna just willy nilly cut around it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, and that's really what I want you guys to learn about collage. Is collage is one of the most forgiving types of art in that you you put down what you feel, you put down what makes you happy. So I'm going to put the tree here. 
So I'm gonna put down the back first, like so. So it will look like this. Hmm. See that? I'm so happy. I'm gonna just put that up there so you can see. to watch me because Miss Vanessa is about making things easy not making it hard I'm going to cut a strip of this paper okay just like that then I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut little tiny windows there we go and so I got four windows look at that one two I can literally put four windows in there. But I don't want to put four windows in because I want to put a door in. Right. So I'm yeah. just going to, yep, yeah, I'm just going to remove that and I'm just only going to put in three windows. That's it. Okay. And I got my white paper again. There we go. I'm just gluing on my windows here. Okay, so there are my windows. And then if I wanted to, I could add panes to my window. And that's very simple to do. I could go on the outside with a nice white pen and just put the panes on. And like I said, this is so easy. And this is why you didn't want to use the white paper for your window. That's right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It made it stand out a little bit more. Look at that. Yeah. And you see, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. And then you can just put your little cross there in the window. Okay. So there, there's my little cross in the window there. Okay. And moving right along, we need a door. So you could do a red door if you wanted to. Uh, you could do a white door if you wanted to. You could do a yellow door. And I think I want to do a yellow door. So I have my yellow Posca pin here. Or you can use your yellow crown or merit magic mark, whatever you have. And just put your door in. Oh, I like this yellow. I like yellow. There you go. Yellow is my favorite color. Tastes like pickles. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going in here and just making my door real, 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 real yellow. Okay. And so now I have my door in. Here's my door. I'm just gonna go in here and just color in. You know, uh, details are everyone, um, um, everything, everyone. So think about the details that you wanna put in. You don't have to do the same thing that Miss Vanessa's doing, but uh, do what do makes you happy. So I'm gonna put some little panels in here in the door. Now we're almost done here. We're almost done, okay? And so I'm gonna put some sunflowers in my little mm -hmm. garden here. So um, what you can do is you can take a dark pen and just make some round circles. I'm gonna make another round circle here, another one here. They grow really tall. And they grow very, very tall, exactly. 
and um, maybe even one right here, right next to the tree. There you go. And so I have all of those, and then I'm gonna take my yellow Posca pen. And remember, I told you, you don't have to be perfect. Then you use whatever supplies you have. Exactly, exactly. And sometimes what makes art so special is that it's not perfect. I have my little sunflowers there, and I have this green pen, and I'm gonna make some leaves on it. I'm gonna make one at the top there. And I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. Yeah, wow. I love it. See that? Mm -hmm. And then you know what I can do? Because this is so small, we don't have to be exact. That's the beauty of this. You don't have to be exact. And this is why I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be whimsical and fun. That's all it has to be. I'm not gluing anything else. We're, uh, we're, we're done, basically. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little pin here, and I'm just going to go in here and put some pink flowers. Aww. Just like that. And those are little pink flowers in the garden. Maybe they're roses, I don't know. And then I can go in with some white. Maybe put some little white flowers in there too. Maybe it's some kind of fern or something. There's little marks in there. Sometimes when Miss Vanessa's doing children's books, I, I have to think about the time that goes into it because I can't always spend a whole lot of time on one little piece. So I have to do smart things like this where I just make little dots for flowers. See that? Mm -hmm. That makes it look so much homier, like someone actually yeah. lives there. Yes, mm -hmm. like my grandma probably lives in there. <laughs> and then the care. last thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a fence in front of my home. So that is very, very easy to do. And so I'm just gonna take my little pin here. I have my, my pin. I'm just gonna make some lines. And that's it. And then I'm gonna put some balls at the top here. And I'm actually putting in some little ornate parts here to my fence. You don't have to do this. But like I said, Miss Vanessa loves detail. And so I'm thinking about all the little detail I wanna put in here. There we go. And this is my home, sweet home. I love it. Ta -da! I will come visit you in your home. Please come and visit me in my home. Now, if you want to make this nice and neat, and you, um, I am about sometimes making it nice and neat. Remember, I told you I might want to send this to somebody for a housewarming card or something. So I'm just going to cut off that rough side over there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put this on the white sheet so you can see exactly what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. And don't forget to sign your artwork, everyone. Yes. The only thing I'm putting in here that I forgot, y'all, was some puffs of smoke coming out of my chimney. Yeah, there it is. In three, two, one. Now, if you like that video, make sure you hit the like button to help us grow the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you get notified for future videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.